prayer for the leader Baba, you know, we're here this morning and we're trying to work with the human for me to see how we get the virtual process and run to the ministry of finance. Uh, the coach just told me that the minister came and he passed the information that uh, hopefully tomorrow we we'll get that done. And by the time that process is over, uh, it might either be a game time or you'll be into the game. But uh, the most important thing is that you can be assured that uh, whatever they do, the players will be given the players. Uh, we are clear and we are ensuring that the players get their money on a daily basis and not for not just play for the whole tournament. You know, if you play two games, you should receive that money per game. So uh, we, all we can say is to ask you to remain focused. Uh, and just know that, you know, money will be in your account at the end of the day, I mean, in your pocket. You know, that all of us will be, will be pleased with, you know, that we said to you, this is our new administration. And I don't know how many of you followed the news recently, uh, there were 22 of our players taking the Lao three years ago, uh, that were taking them to the academy. And that matter was, uh, the guys were misled that, we were carrying on the academy and we were going to use them in the National League. And we'll be there and took that matter out of FIFA. On the day before yesterday, FIFA just grew. And the guys will be awarded over seven hundred thousand dollars. Uh, that's good news for all of our young people that some scam people will not come to our country and say, you know, they are player agent or so they are taking people because a lot of young people want to see greener pasture, so that's good news for us. And part of what we're going to do as a result of what happened, we, we got the experience, we learned the lesson. So, we, I mean, we're going to reinforce this player union you know, stuff because we have to protect our player. Uh, I have been the effort of everybody, including the, particularly our chief patron of sports in Baghdad, Georgia. Uh, that matter will have been under the ground by now, and the players will have been exploited. So, we're happy. And uh, I just want to appeal to you that tomorrow, if you are playing, for the national team, please know that you are just putting in the back of your mind that you want to play to please the country to the chief patron of sports uh, ambassador George Manner. We are sure before the the tournament and the president, the father of the nation, will surely reach out to you people to motivate you. But I know most of you are coming or some people are playing in the military, whether it be Oliver McCall. You know, it's an opportunity, it's a blessing to have somebody who has a role model right before you to teach you, to impact you, you know. Uh, some people want to be Christopher Red, the Wonder Boy, you know. So many of, many of young people are coming up with taking these names, you know, McCall, Wonder Boy, some people in the goal, you know, you want to be Sonny C. So, like uh, the current coach and the technical staff, you know, some people want to be Vamakoto. You have a gym pro, you have a St. Anthony, you know, so let's see from Blackpool, West Point, you know. So, you have an opportunity, like I said to you yesterday, to have these people who, when they were playing again, did not have experience, but who, who have gone to Europe, who have taken their country to the Nations Cup. As a matter of fact, they're the only generation that took our country to the Nations Cup. Since they left, we've not been able to qualify for any uh, competition. That's why. I want to appeal to you that you see this as an opportunity for yourself so that international scouts will see you, so that you can win your first trophy on your own home ground. You know, that can be the beginning of a dream national thing we invested. You know, since 2002, we lost the appetite. You know, I don't start playing with the country at 6, 7 in the morning with it. You know, we want to bring back that spirit. I want you to challenge yourself that you, you, you can make that happen. The coach talk about a lot of you being very disciplined, think that's very good. And I will encourage that you continue on that path. And please, let's work together tomorrow. Let's win the game tomorrow. Even though we did not get the money today, but there will be a game bonus for the victory and everything. We are working on that. This, this new administration will not sit down. The players and the technical staff are not taken care of. Right. So please play your part. And let it be a contract between us. Let us say goodbye to the past leadership, you know. Win this game and see what happens within the next 48 hours. We need you to win this game. 
so that Liberian football can turn a new page in international competition. A win tomorrow will settle on the way for maybe a quarter final in the tournament. But once you win, Abacos, a strong side, you get motivated to meet Sarah or whoever, and then move on with the home support. So that's what I want to say. I want to say thank you for your commitment to your country and see it as a, as a blessing because the country got about 4 million people. For 18 persons to stay and play a national anthem behind you, you know, it's an honor. Not every librarian gets the opportunity to play a national anthem behind them. You know, many of us in this room have not had an opportunity to see that as an opportunity. Now, you're not playing for this guy, you're not playing for URC, you're playing for the national team. And the whole country come together on this day to give you that support, give you that respect and honor. Please help the country with us pride. Thank you. your possible bed, but it's not easy. Easy, not easy. You see, first of all, in Liberia, very true, the same class you're in today. But it's so good that the president will have to, the president will have to be and somebody from the second background you're from. So, the reason why he said it, that I feel the nation stopped everything, the nation said it to you. Yeah. yeah, so the nation took everything back. But, so the good commitment that you stood behind you all, and some of you, most of you all, you are disciplined. You know, some people, oh, the point of you start calling all over. Now you see everything we do in the room. I'm the head. I'm the head of the Kutu. Now I have made the decision, I put the press when I tell them what is going on. So you may anybody pay no account to me. You know, keep it quiet. Tomorrow, you will perform well. But do your possible best. That football game in that 90 minutes. All we can do. I try to make yourself proud because you are the one that people are going to look at tomorrow. For me, I feel like doing my party, but I feel like doing my party, I will not play anymore. But we are helping you guys to become someone for the future. Africa is not extra. During those days, Africa is not to be like that. You think? No, never. They are not extra. You see? So if you get there tomorrow, you want to do your own thing with feet, definitely you want to spoil me. But if you follow the system or all the coach, coach is taught you up. Definitely, we want to go through. That two y'all in Liberia here, yeah? that one thing that never gonna run go. When you play a game, you win. The boy you not expect to see your left, you will see that here. I don't know what happened, but I'm sure. What do you want to do? Do you start bringing money here? You never ever said no. But now everybody stay back. So, you know, they need to come and encourage you. But you know, the only thing you know, you can win. But it's not about the winning, it's about the party on how we play. We get it a little gradual, little by little. We don't have a youth team. Everything is national team, national team. So the minister said we're gonna start from somewhere. The minister told you, if the people are pure in a way, if we're winning one be there in a way, we know that we are more powerful than that. We can't go see that too. I go in Africa, we know Africa is nothing. It's eleven against eleven on the page. So if you get it, you don't want to do nothing, it's up to you. So the next selection card will not sell it, we'll sell all the code and we're gonna play football. The half of game go. So the only thing we do, the test of coming, and you get to our put the coach with our best. So the pass one more month, you can measure in our us. All will be on power. Yeah. But at least the next sell it. You say I may have a couple of few are choosing. You are not, you are someone you are only the best and the one will drop. But we see certain potential here. That was the here. So if you can do what else you do, the next selection will come for other people. The country is getting paid, everybody wants to play football. And the facility is going to come. So when you cannot benefit for him now, you're not benefit for him anymore. Yeah? Most people here grow, they have children, they have women. It's tough for you to do what you do to each job. You are the best time to enjoy your time. Yeah. It's the best time to each job. So if you get on the feet, you got to do something. Believe me, if you start PB, Africa will be some of you in any day that president will come. You personally will be surprised. We're going to start from somewhere. We're going to show you people how to can do. All the time, we're get up. For three weeks, four weeks, we'll be learning. We'll prove it out there tomorrow. Nobody will tell you to do this, put pressure on you too. Go out there, discipline yourself, and then for a reverie, and for argument on the feet, your friend may be still help your friend. I have to work with you. Only one may be some more happy. And if I tell you, only one do this again. I say, the only thing I have to say, you will go on the bed, concentrate, leave the phone, forever, carry a minute. 
I want to tell you before I say, hey, like, you don't get money in shit to go on. But if you get a block, you can tell what the fuck off. And you know what? Because you suck with you, you get the money. But you know what? What's up with you? You get money, money, what's you? You hear me? Why you everything? But I give my money, I can tell my everything. So, cause I'm sure what you can do. When the money comes to you, the job will run behind you. The job will be put in. You know, that's maybe coming to be dry. You're fighting hard. And this person will go. You know, God's coming to support the land. You know? You hope people say you don't have time. But it doesn't matter. You don't want to come around. But I'm saying yeah, that brought for everybody, but we'll take it. So what you do, concentrate, go to bed, and you can't forget about the film. You know, we'll tell Timothy, I'll tell him, I'll wear him. The captain, we'll tell him, I'll have a look at him tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As yeah. Man, the yeah. quote you were talking here, I just got reminded of something. And I think we'll have to say what I'm covering, you know. I got reminded about the margin with Nigeria, like you remember the Nigeria. I don't know how many of us were around. But before that game, given the land of Nigeria, everybody had, I mean, a lot of people had doubt that we would win that game, you know. Some of our big stars did not even show up, you know. That's how come the famous George Bay 11 was coined. I remember Critical uh, Red, the one up, but now your coach. I don't know whether you were just saying it, joking or what. But when I had to tell him, he like, bro, win. I would be the one to score that goal. And he went on to score two goals that day was a brace. In the early minute, we got to open up. 11 minutes that joy we did. Because we were on time to finish the game. So that was a challenge. That was a motivation. I mean, the president came and said, free game. Even at the stadium was still not filled. So it speaks to challenge, it speaks to determination, it speaks to focus. And so you can do the same tomorrow. Yeah. And I mean, let's do it for the country, let's do it for our president. I told you, I was only one goal. He will play 11 games then. If I get if I get opportunity to pass, pass for the whole school, who wins that year? Who are going to get the giving money to give a more money than me? No. It will be the same money, right? No. I will tell you that. So if you know you got opportunity to give a friend for all to school, you go. Know, what, what can they give me? I want to go for a friend when you pass it for you. What? Who got to give for me? I've been killing who gave. So tomorrow, you need to be sent to Germany. What would land? They don't put in the place. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Okay, there you, you listen to the technicians uh, from the end of uh, the All 20 and national team of this country. You listen and watch. Uh, the vice president for operations, Liberia Football Association, all in like motivating the guys, uh, young talented players of this country to do their utmost best on tomorrow, especially the very first game and uh, on the stewardship of the Pope of God and George Obama Manawiya, uh, Chief Executive Officer, Chief Patron of Sports of this country. Uh, so they have the ball in their court to do their very best and so that they can bring back pride to this country. So KMTV, thanks for watching. On tomorrow, beginning 2 o'clock, we'll be at the Summer Camp Those Post Complex to bring you the bid up, including the first and second matches of the Wafu tournament. I'm Julius Conton, Emmanuel Kozawa has been here. Thanks for watching. And join us tomorrow at the SKP at 2 o'clock. Uh,